Okay guys, so this wig is 16 inches body weight wig from Wiggins Hair. It is a 13 by 4 HD lace frontal. I did only lay down my left side and the middle part of the wig. I did not lay down my right side of the lace because I am going to be doing a middle part and the middle, I mean not a middle part, oh my gosh. I'm going to be doing a side part and the side part is going to be covering um, my right side so I just didn't really see it like useful for me to lay that lace down just because the hair is going to be covering it um again this is a 13 by 4 so you can't really do deep side parts with a 13 by 4 but you can make it work and it'll still look good um so right now i just installed it with my regular installation process and i got this she is bomb wax stick i use this wax stick on all my wigs and I just took my hot comb over there to try and mold down the wig. The wig was pretty thick but it wasn't too thick like it was a good amount of thick like sometimes the wigs be too thick that you know you just gotta pluck and pluck and pluck for days but this wasn't like that it was just like the perfect amount of thick if that makes sense so yeah I didn't really spend so much time plucking but here's how the hair looks as you can see the hair looks really full and it looks really good this length is really cute so I'm gonna show you guys how I got those curls in the beginning I like to curl with a flat iron as you can see I don't know what's wrong with me but I do not know how to curl with a curling iron I prefer to curl with a flat iron so for the front section by my face I don't know why I curled this one going up when I really meant to curl it going down um, but I'll fix that later in the video so don't mind this one you can honestly curl any direction you want um, so I just curled this one up but for the rest of them I'll be curling down um, so yeah but as you can see the curl came out really really cute that's why I love flat iron curls because it gives the same look if you know how to do them so I'm just gonna take a section of hair and then I'm just going to brush it out, make sure there's no knots or tangles in it. And then I'm going to take the flat iron. You can do a pass through if you want to. Um, but I'm just going to flip it over. And as you see, I have the tail end of the hair in my hand as I flip it over each time. And then after you flip it over a second time, you won't be able to glide the flat iron through. You will have to like open and close the flat iron so it can like clamp it. Um... So it can move down as you see. So I'm just literally like opening and closing the uh, flat iron so it can like eat the bottom of the hair until there's no more hair left. Um, so you'll keep doing that, turning and then clamping, turning and then clamping just to feed in the hair into the flat iron. And then you'll hold and then you'll let it down and then you can hold it up with your hand. Or if you want the curls to be tighter, you can just pin it up so it can cool down but I didn't do that just because I'll show you guys how to do this for the video I didn't really do that but if you want the curls to last longer I would suggest just pinning up the curls after you take it out the flat iron but yeah it's just a real simple um, process you just flip and clamp flip and clamp until there's no more hair left and then when you got all the hair in the flat iron you just hold it for a couple seconds and then let it out you slide it out and then that's how you get those perfect 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 curls um so yeah
Okay, so I did all my hair and I will be showing you guys how to curl the front again later in this video. Um, but here's how the hair is looking. It's giving very much silk press. It looks super, super cute. The hair curled very well. So I'm just going to take some of this Sebastian Shaper hairspray and spray it lightly over the curls. Um, I didn't go too OD with it because it's nighttime and I'm not going anywhere. And then I'll take a rat, uh, not a rat tail comb, a white tooth comb and I'll comb it out. Um, and this is just going to break the curls. Now if you want to, you can keep the curls intact like it was before I combed it out. But I do like to do this because if you guys know me, you know I love big voluminous hair and that's exactly what this gave. It just gave everything you need to give and you guys also know me, you know that I have to add layers to it. Um, I think adding layers to like bombshell curls is like so essential if you want it to lay right, especially if you want that bang part to lay right girl you won't have to add some layers to it okay it'll just make all the difference um but it still looks cute without the layers but again i'm always at layers especially if i'm curling hair so after i add layers i always tend to go back on the bang part and curl it again so this is a really good shot of how i curl the hair um especially the bangs so yeah it's just the same process as i did earlier in the video and I'll just do it to the two sections in the front and then I'll leave the rest and you can just add any finishing touches to the hair and then I did go off camera and add some edges but not too much nothing too crazy um, so yeah I'll just let you guys continue watching this video I really really loved how this turned out it looks super cute I love it so much I hope you guys liked it um, any questions or comments leave them down below and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.